Hello and welcome to Life Daily with Dawn. This is Dawn and we are here for a continuation of the All Systems Go video series. We're taking a look at 24 systems for life thriving. 24 systems that support you as a dynamic and sustainable system as you come to life and live in full expression. Today we're taking a look at the seventh of the eight seeds systems. Now the seed systems are the first system set within those 24 life systems for thriving. And they are all about a reconnection to your essential self and the light you are at your core. So today's uh, system, sorry about that, today's system is the expansion map system to connect to your essential self. The expansion map system is comprised of eight momentum action pathways and together they form a sort of multi-dimensional map with various access points so that you can uh, reconnect with the light you are at your core and come to life and live in full expression. So these eight momentum pathways are pathways to activate the energy and the experience of radiant expansion and exponential growth in your life. Sounds pretty good, right? Radiant expansion, exponential growth. I remember when I wrote that down years ago, um, I was like, no, not, not possible. <laughs> I was so skeptical. And now, uh, while I certainly have not achieved that, I most definitely believe that that is what we are meant for, all of us, every single one of us, for full thriving, for radiant expansion, for exponential growth, for infinite abundance. So here are the pathways to activate the energy and experience of expansion. Number one, embrace the dance, the dream, the mystery, and the miracle of life. And how do you do that? By moving to the music of the questions and seeing yourself as a cycle of change. So this first uh, access point is really all about um, being with what is um, and seeing it as a great movement of life uh, and rather than attaching to one thing that we think is a problem or a challenge or needs to be fixed or corrected or or even the good things right that we think oh this is a blessing in my life but only seeing that this is about the whole of your life <clears throat> excuse me and really seeing that you are a part of that dance of life. Um, so embracing the dance, the dr your dreams for your life and your dream for the world, the mystery of life and the wonder of it and the miracle, most of all, the miracle. So this is about embracing all of that as you begin to really connect with the energy of expansion in your life. The second momentum action pathway is to engage in value redefinition. Stand in the gap of sacred time and breathe in promise revealed. This is about seeing the intricate beauty of life and how it's unfolding right now, right in front of you, in, in this moment and in every moment. So value redefinition, what's meant here by this momentum action pathway is that as we step into that gap in the moment between the, the now and the not yet or you know the past and the future or there are various ways of looking at it but as we step into that gap in a time that is an in-between time and we're in the middle of something we're in the gap if we step fully into that gap not with the intention of staying in the gap but just being with the void and the gap there we can see more clearly and we can begin to see again the intricacies um, and this life unfolding we can really begin to value what is and who we are in that process so it's actually a reclaiming a radical reclamation that is occurring as we stand in that gap of time and we are <clears throat> naturally engaging in value redefinition i must have been outside a little too long yesterday because my uh this is this is a uh, allergies um so Excuse my voice. It sounds very froggy, doesn't it? <laughs> so um, first one was in, embrace the dance, the dream, the mystery, the miracle. Second, engage in value redefinition by standing in the gap of time in, in, or the gap that you perceive in your life. Three, find what feels good. So take a look around when you're in that gap and begin to say yes to the experiences that bring out your best and then choose those again and again and again. Make a choice for what feels good. Allow yourself the space 
regardless of circumstances, to be free within that circumstance and make one decision, one choice at a time. To decide means to cut off other options. So choose the best feeling um, and find that and follow that flow. Follow that thread just a bit is the third momentum action pathway. The fourth momentum action pathway is to from there to cultivate balance and perspective. So you want to consider form and function and you want to embrace all the change that will further support continued expansion. So whatever that thing was that felt good. Now this isn't only, you're not just doing this, but this is one thread that you will follow. And in all the threads you follow, cultivate perspective and balance. So it's not about an, a, a choice to disregard what's actually there. It's about a choice of where you place your precious attention and your focus. And then from there, cultivating a perspective and a balance um, by seeing the entire dance, the intricacies of the beauties unfolding, even if it looks messy, and then remembering the cycles of work, play, rest, work, play, rest. The balance is important and the continual um, freedom, you recognizing your continual freedom to make a choice about what flow you follow. So pick the best one. And then as you're doing that, cultivate perspective and balance. So I hope you're catching the nuance here. It's not about ignoring uh, what is actually happening. It's just about a much more balanced approach because the majority of people um, have a tendency to either totally ignore what's not working and, you know, you know, some would call it live in la la land and just basically go about their life as if it's not there, like ignoring it. Or the opposite is true of many of us, which is that we'll just like dive deep um, into the, you know, fixing what's wrong or, or, you know, shoring up what we think needs to be better. And our life then becomes lost in a continual like recreation of, you know, more, more, more success, you know, appearances and, and you lose yourself that way. So uh, this is about cultivating perspective and balance in all things and considering um, the fullness of it considering those larger cycles that are necessary in our lives of work, play, and rest. So maybe ask yourself of those three cycles, you know, is there one that I really haven't been honoring as fully? And maybe that's the flow you need to follow for now. I know at times in my life, I've actually cycled through ignoring all three of those. Um, typically, I don't ignore work just because I'm, I'm cut, up, cut out that way. And I love, I love creation. And so that's sort of my work in, in a large, the way that I've chosen to define it. Uh, so, because I long ago gave up, gave up the, um, the rat race, uh, to, you know, whatever, um, have what I was told I was supposed to have, but in any case, um, but, but maybe there's one of those for you work, play or rest where you're, you know, you're, you're just ignoring it. I typically have, uh, at times ignored the play and at times ignored the rest. And so there's always that balance that needs to come into play. So this fourth momentum action pathway is about cultivating that perspective and balance without letting go of fo following the flow of, of the, of the best feelings. Um, those choices that lead us to greater fulfillment to, uh, come to life and live in full expression. The fifth momentum action pathway is to celebrate choice and creative contribution. So this is a celebration of that choice, which I've spoken to, and then also celebrating your creativity um, and your creation uh, power rather than simply uh, resorting to being a consumer or an observer of your life um, or a, a witness to it, but not participating in. This is about being a full participant and celebrating your creative contribution. So it's about um, holding fast to the truth of who you are and knowing that truth and living from that truth. It's you choosing you um, because you understand that when you do that, the world is enriched. Um, as you come to life and live in full expression, the world becomes a better place. Your life becomes way more enjoyable. And so this is also about celebrating um, celebrating the choices of others um, along the way, even as you choose to maintain your connection to your essential self and your own fine gifts of original design. So there becomes, again, this is about a balance because it's very easy to tip those scales one way or the other. Ignore other people, you're on your own journey, you're isolated and you don't have any connections. 
or the opposite would be to put your all of your creative um, potential on the back burner and not make your choices for your own life because you're so consumed with your focus on others um, even you know especially actually those that you love so it's a balance um, but this fifth momentum action pathway is about the energy of celebration celebrating all of the creative contributions you have come here to make and to express through who you are um, the creative um, the truth of of life and God as creative and so this is about a celebration of that number six unbind yourself and fly free risk this is about risk it's about risking the journey of your life it's about daring adventures and radiant expansion that's my acronym for dare um, and or I also made an acronym for my name Dawn daring adventures with the new and you know whatever it's silly to a lot of people but you know what it's made my life a lot happier so maybe you want to do that like pick a little acronym for your name or something that only you um, you know and that's a touchstone for you so that will support you as you fly free so if you think about unbinding yourself and flying free it's not flying away from I just want to make that point it's actually rising up into the fullness of who you are and daring to say yes to your life it's about seeing yourself as a free spirit who's unencumbered and unhindered and here again to fully express to be that creative light in the world that you are because remember in these first eight uh, map systems we're actually connecting to the light that you are at your core because you are a dynamic and sustainable system and you are um, you are designed to thrive you have all you need the light and the life and the love at your core and that will bring you back to life so this one is about um, risking the journey of your life and in in so doing flying free so it's about not allowing anything to hinder uh, or or uh, squash that spirit or um, uh, burden you in such a way that uh, you no longer remember what it is to live your own life and to risk that journey of life because they're here to make that journey your soul came for that privilege and that joy for that adventure uh, speaking of adventure number seven momentum action pathway is retain your sense of play and adventure so see your life as a daring adventure and dare yourself to show up in the starring role this is really these two go together very well um, so the sense of play however is is really key here and adventure so how might you in the day-to-day -day living of your life how might you just bring a little bit of that playful spirit in you know remember when you were a child or maybe a vision of um, an ideal childhood and what comes to mind like you know so for me it would be um, you know those big swirly candy uh, things that were like rainbow colored I love those I forgot the name of them um, or butterflies and running barefoot through the grass or flying kites or um, splashing in mud puddles <laughs> So mine were a lot connected to uh, nature. I can remember a few times um, early on when I went to the circus and I loved cotton candy when I was a little girl. So what is it like something like that? And remember how you felt. Remember how you felt the purity of it or imagine it if you need to. So if you can't get to that memory, just imagine it. I had to do that for a long time. And so, so and then find that playfulness, that joy, and bring that forward into your now. Find a way to bring it forward. Um, and in a real authentic way and seeing your life as a daring adventure um, make it fun make it fun you know this is why one reason I do my soul gifts maps um, and and life maps which by the way right now I'm offering them uh, at um, I think it's around half price um, at $55 they're usually 111 so um, those that's available through at least the end of April um, just to support anyone who would like that or who's you know kind of reinventing themselves in this crazy time we're in um, but uh, back to what I was saying life is an adventure your life is an adventure um, look up the meaning of adventure and you know find ways today and in every day to embrace that spirit of play and adventure and finally the eighth momentum uh, action pathway for 
this expansion map system is to know the end, the perceived end is merely a beginning again. So if something fizzles out, you know, whatever that is, a job, a relationship, or something smaller like a an opportunity or your creative spunk or whatever, if something fizzles out or you don't feel like you're soaring, then just keep the connection to you and invite a new beginning to present itself to you. And then honor this a new way of seeing and welcome a new way of seeing yourself and welcome the experience of growth and expansion even if you don't feel it or see it yet know that it is here for you because that is the very nature of life look to nature and you will see that this is expansion is the natural principle of the world that we're living in and i believe it is the natural state um, of spirit of that life force of god um, and it is certainly uh, what many of the great teachers have taught is is the idea of um, you know of movement and, and meaning and movement and, and momentum and um, expansion radiant expansion exponential growth that's what this map system is about and it's here to support you and again it's all about a reconnection to your your core, the light and the life and the love that you are, your essential self, your essence, and then allowing yourself to live from that. And so these pathways to activate the energy and experience of radiant expansion and exponential growth in your life, I'll repeat them. Number one, embrace the dance, the dream, the mystery, and the miracle. Number two, engage in value redefinition. Number three, find what feels good. Number four, cultivate perspective and balance. Number five, celebrate choice and creative contribution. Number six, unbind yourself and fly free to risk the journey of your life. Number seven, retain your spirit of play and adventure. And number eight, know the end is the beginning again. So that is the expansion map system. And remember those cycles of, of uh, change, the the work and play and rest and be well, enjoy your day and I'll see you tomorrow for the destiny map system.